here. Well, good morning, well, good morning everybody. everybody. Always so good to have, so you, good here. To have you here. And we have, and we have a, couple a couple of special events today, events today. special, uh, special uh, announcements, announcements that we'd like to share with you. So we'll do so that here in just a minute. Just ask the Let's Lord, ask the Lord to bless all, all that's going on in the buildings. We've got, of course, our kids' classes happening. And then also an adult Sunday school class, teenagers, junior hires. So it's always good, so it's good to see so many people here. Let's pray. Let's pray. Father, we are blessed. We say, we that, because say that because it's true. We also say it because we, it because we need to remind each other that no matter how, that no matter how bad it is, we've been, we've been given so much, so much and that to whom much, much is given, much is required. Much is required. So, Lord, we, so Lord, we come here today not only to give this uh, time, this hour, this hour to you and a, 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 a time of worship and study and reflection. And reflection. But, Lord, but Lord, we also come indicating that this is the, very, this is the very first part of a new week that we're going, that we're going to, to give to you. Lord, we're going to, we're going to ask, ask that you work through us, that you prepare, that you prepare us today for the events of this next week, that the word, that the word, of, the word, word of God that's being taught, taught all throughout all the classes would be just what is needed, that your Holy Spirit would not only be our teacher, but also be, bring, be the one to bring us to an understanding that we might just keep moving on in our Christian walk. Father, these things we're asking for as we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Good morning. We are so glad that you're here. It is, uh, it is a great morning. If you'd stand with us. We've got a new song this morning. I'm sure if you've listened to, if you listen to Christian radio, you've heard it a uh, hundred thousand times probably. But um, it's good, good father. And we, God is our father. And it's, and it's not because he has to have us. It's not because he has to have our praise. He has to have those things. He has us because he loves us. He created us because he loves us. Good, good father. Oh, I guess I need to keep talking. Aaron's got something going on back there. Um, I'm going go, to go start this real quick, and we'll jump right on it. <laughs> I love you too. I love you too. <laughs> okay. Sorry. <laughs> okay, start that over real quick so we know right where we're at, if you would, please. Good, good father. Yeah. 
Let's pray. Heavenly Father, Lord, you are a good Father. Lord, you love us. You've redeemed us. You, us, you saved us. And Lord, um, I pray that every day that you would draw us as children closer to you, that you would lead us, that we would look to you for for um, for teaching and for guidance and for wisdom. And Lord, I just, uh, again, we, we praise you and we thank you to know that you are um, a father who will not leave us. You are a father who will always be there, who will never move, and we can always trust in you. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. If you sing with us again. Jesus, lover of my soul. Being seated, greet a neighbor this morning. <laughs> um, no, when we're done singing, yeah, Bruce will do announcements and we'll sing another song at least. Um, how much time do you need? Well, again, so nice to have you here. We're going to invite you to take a look at our bulletin. Now, help me out. If I've got this wrong, we need to clear it up. Is next week spring forward? Oh, yes. All right. All right. So, so put that at, put the, back that at the back of your mind and make sure that you're prepared for that. For that. So, next so next week is spring forward. forward. Next week, next is, week also is also our FBT Club, Club Sunday. Sunday. So, so we're going, we're to, going invite to invite all, all these parents, parents and all these kids, kids to come in. And we really, and we really would like, like for you to be here, be with, here, us, be with us for the entire day if you can be, because this, this is, a is a great opportunity for us to, to, get, to, to get to see people, people that we don't normally see, see have, an have an opportunity to express to them how glad we are that they've shared part of their day with us. Now the activity will be at, well I better just let you go through the activities for tomorrow for next Next Sunday. As far as what, what do we have? What do we have going at 9:15? Anything? 9:15 is just the kids come in, and we practice up here, and then 10:30. It's normal, just normal service at 10:30. We'll have the kids. Will be a big part of that first part of the service. And our lunch will start at right after church. And where will our this crowd will be? 
Uh, down in the basement. Oh, they'll be in the, oh, basement. Be in the basement? Yeah, while well, the kids are up here practicing. All right. All right. And what do Unless they happen? want to get run over by kids. Huh? Huh? Unless you want to get run over by kids. Yeah, and, what's and what's happening downstairs? I forgot to ask all this. I forgot to ask as well. Breakfast, okay. yeah. Okay. All right. So, All right, you, hear so you hear that? That's, That's what we've got going. So next, so next week, week, please come. Please come. We'll give you a chance to visit with some of the parents for a little snack in the basement, in the basement while, the while the kids are preparing. Are preparing. Then the 1030 then the service right after, right after that, that, we'll go over to the FBT Center, Center and, we'll be, and we'll be able to have our little lunch. And then we'll, and have, then we'll the have the bounce houses up and that'll go to about 2 o'clock. And then we're going to send them to your house because we don't want them anymore. All right. Right? So, that's, so the that's the event, and we're looking forward to that. Forward to that. <laughs> also, if you'll take a look here on today's, on today's schedule, you'll see that there's choir happening at 6.30. And then also the FBT club we mentioned, the Grand Prix. We have got, now it's always hard to know how many kids will come. Uh, last, year uh, last year we had a big number, had a big number uh, of uh, racers. racers. We anticipate, we anticipate that, again that again this year. I think we've, I think put, we've put out probably over 70 cars now, now. And, kids and kids are getting, are getting them prepared. Them prepared. Uh, we, have uh, we have a whole new setup. New setup. Everything's, Everything's going, to be, going to be on a TV. Uh, much, yeah, more much more being done, done with the computer. It should run much more quickly. I think we're contemplating changing our schedule a little bit with an earlier start time. And... Uh, we'll get all those, we'll get all those facts, nailed, facts down nailed down and get those, and get those to you. But that'll be on the 16th. Would love for you, Would to, love be for you to be there for that. And then if, and you, then if you take a look on the, on the back side, Charlie Binkert is in a hospital. In a hospital. Now, Margie, now Margie called, called yesterday, yesterday to give me a word, and I never thought to ask which one. Ask which one. So, I don't, so I don't know, has anybody seen or heard which hospital, which hospital he went, he to, went in to in Fort Wayne? Uh, earlier, uh, earlier in the week, at the very, week, beginning, at the very of the beginning of the week, he wasn't, he wasn't feeling well, thought, well, perhaps, thought perhaps it was the flu. It seems to be, it seems much, to be much, more much more than that, but they're just not sure. Just not sure. And because, and because Charlie, Charlie has so many heart issues, issues and, because and because it doesn't seem to be a, 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 situation, a situation that is getting that better, getting just, better rest, just with rest uh, and, 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 and tests, they're, tests, they're going to go up to Fort Wayne. And again, we'll get you that information, make sure we put it on Facebook, and we'll put it on our church's website. Website. You know what? I, you was, know what? Thinking I was thinking some time, some time ago when somebody, when somebody was saying that they were a Facebook, Facebook stalker. stalker. That they just, that they just bounce around the Facebook to find out what's happening in everybody else's world. And there was a little, part, there was a little of part of me that was being critical until I remembered, until I remembered as kids. Now, this now, goes back a little bit. But how many, but how many can, can remember the party line? line? And picking, and picking up the phone, up the phone and listening to people talk, talk, talk on the party line. line. And, we had, and we had a couple of neighbors who would say, would say I, think I think we've got some of those kids down the road, down the road listening to our listening conversation, to our conversation again. again. So I guess, so I'm, I guess guilty I'm as guilty as anybody. But if you want to know what's happening, please, please check our website and please check, and please the, check the Facebook account. account we'll and we'll keep everything up to date there. Yes. Yes. Uh oh. Uh, 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 it's terrible. Yeah, yeah. Happens way, happens way too many times, doesn't it? Doesn't it? So, Martin, so Martin Craniac, Craniac. And that is Amber's dad. dad. So let's pray for him. And then, uh, and then uh, you see Larry, he's, he's out, and around. out and around. He, he said he thought he, he, thought felt, he, felt, better. Thought he felt better. Now that he got his shoulder put back in place, so I teased him. He was talking about his back feeling so bad. I said, well, don't fall out of a tree hoping that would fix your back, because that's probably not the way it's going to work. But we're really glad to see he's up and about. Dave Manglesdorf's nephew, Corey. He had been in a coma for for over a month, and he is starting to respond. To respond. Now, I'm not sure, now, I'm not exactly, sure exactly how, how far and how much. And how much. Now, that's not, uh, that's really, not really anything, anything we get to control, is it? But he's able, he's able to give a thumbs up, up and a thumbs down, down for yes and no. Yes and no. So, let's, so keep let's keep praying for him. For him. And, then and then you go down, down through the list there, and we'll ask that you continue to pray for Scott Holderman's vision. Those are some real big issues there. And down through 
to that list are many people that we've been praying for on a weekly basis because their needs are ongoing. All right, well, let's ask the Lord's blessing on these people. Father, we think about our good friend Charlie and Margie as they are, uh, have their schedule turned upside down with uh, the distance and the uh, the hospital, the hospital stay, stay for Charlie, Lord, Lord we're asking that the test, the would, test reveal would reveal and, and the doctors would be able to determine exactly what's going on so, going on so they can begin to work on a remedy. On a remedy. Father, we Father, think, we think of, of uh, Amber's father. Amber's father. Uh, Martin, uh, Martin and ask that you, and ask that you uh, help him not, help him not only to bounce back, bounce from, back these from these injuries, but Lord, that you'd use this time, time to, to, encourage to encourage him and teach him. And teach him. Father, Father, we're praying too, too for all of these, all of these we have on our list. We think of so many so here that have been patiently enduring a difficult circumstance. circumstance. And, Lord, we know and Lord, we know that you often slowly teach us because we need the time, we need the pressure to be forced into thinking, into thinking of, in, a way, in a way that is different. So, Lord, I know, so Lord, that, I know that that's something that you do, that you do in, our in our lives, and Lord, we understand that you may be doing that in the lives of these people, people as well. So, Lord, I'm, so Lord, I'm asking that we'd be a part of that process with our encouraging words, with our notes, our calls, our visits. Lord, help us to be thinking of others. Father, we ask for this, praying in Jesus' name. Amen. If you stand with us for uh, one more song, we'll have a, sp a special presentation. But this song, Sing to the King, um, Satan, Satan has an influence in this world. I mean, he, he has an influence in our lives. He, he, he works and he, he grinds at us and he, he just really he tries just to defeat us. Uh, but we have a king who is, who is in control. And one day, that influence will end. That influence will be gone. He will be conquered and defeated once and for all. And our king will be on the throne. And um, uh, sing with us as we sing to the king who's coming to reign. Sing to the King who is coming to reign. 
to the day when that all comes full circle and everything is made new again. As you're being seated, we have uh, Erica is coming up. Um, she has a, a project, I guess, that she's, she's involved with and um, she's going to share that with us this morning. We're gonna try a first. video first. As long as it'll as work. long as it'll work. Hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> edition. Um, <laughs> it's a new plan. So the International, so the International Justice, Justice Mission is a um, global, organization global organization that lives, that lives by the principle um, of, God's um, of God's calling to, calling to love all people and to seek justice. And to seek justice. Um, um, so they're a global, so they're organization, a global organization that protects the poor, protects the poor um, from violence um, in, developing um, in developing worlds. worlds. They, rescue victims, they rescue victims from, from um, sex trafficking, sex forced labor, forced labor um, um, sexual violence, sexual violence against children. Against Children, property grabbing, property grabbing um, police abuse of power, abuse of power and, um, and citizenship um, citizenships rights abuse. Rights abuse um, um, so they are so in, they are in quite, a few areas, quite a few areas, but they, but um, they um, rescue, rescue people, people out of, out of um, slavery, slavery, basically. basically. Um, and then they um, work, to, then they work restore to restore the victims, the victims from, from uh, everything, that, uh, they've everything that they've been through. And then they also, and then they also work to put, put um, the people who, the people who were were um, enslaving, enslaving them, them into justice. Into justice. Um, so, so why, am I here? why am I here? Um, my church um, in Lafayette, Lafayette puts on a 5K and 10K race, race uh, in, April. Uh, in April, and all of the and profits from this, from this uh, race, uh, race go, to go to the Dominican, the Dominican Republic, Republic Office of the, of the International Justice Mission. Justice Mission. Um, so, we um, so we partner with them, them and, and we have uh, monthly phone calls, calls with them, and they. They can tell they us, can kind, tell of like us kind of like where our money goes. Our money goes. So, to give, so example, to give you an example, it costs ten thousand dollars for lawyer fees for one case for a year, for a year um, to help, um, to help put someone away. So our goal so is to raise ten thousand dollars um, through this race. Um, and um, so, so the race is, the race is April twenty uh, third uh, at nine a.m. Um, if you um, want if to you come run, come run you can see me. There's a flyer on the back if you um, don't want to think, think about it today. But, um, but um, also, we also we are asking for prayers, for prayers and we have five and things that we are that asking for prayers for. for, prayers for. Um, so we're asking, so we're asking that, you that you would pray for the staff for the, staff, Dominican, for the Dominican Republic field office, field office. Um, and, um, and, and then pray for our, for our race in general, that we would, that we would be, um, able be able to bring awareness, bring awareness um, to this um, cause, to this cause um, and um, that um, the race would go smoothly and that we would have good weather. And then pray for the IJM staff across the globe for strength, wisdom, protection, and success. And then pray for those who are victims of poverty, exploitation, and slavery, slavery, slavery um, um, and then pray for those, who, pray have for those who have been rescued. Because, because as, you imagine, as you can imagine, after you've been, after rescued, you've been rescued, it's not an easy transition into society. Into society. Um, so so that, is that is what we are for. asking for. But if you, but if you aren't a runner and you feel, and like, you this feel like this is something that you are also, also interested in um, supporting, you can see me afterwards, afterwards and I can give you ways to support us other than prayer. So, so. 
It is on a it Saturday. Is on a Saturday. Yeah. Yep. Okay. <laughs> and what church are you a part of now? I forgot the name. Of it. Calvary Baptist. Calvary Baptist. Calvary Baptist. Sorry, it's in, Sorry, it's in West Lafayette. Not West. Okay. Okay. Very good. Well, I know they're working on that video to see if we can get it to work right. So we'll show it during the next hour. Erica, not only are we uh, pleased. To see, to see a like work like this being accomplished, being accomplished. It, is it is such an encouragement to all of us to see that you're still faithful, not only in, in, attending, in church, attending church, but also in serving the Lord. So we're glad for that. Just a couple of weeks ago, I saw an article talking about worldwide the average cost for a slave is $90. Can you, believe that? Can you believe that? What a horrible, what a horrible world, we're, world we're living in. No, sir, being no, passed out. Our kids are going to go, and it's probably just as well because they may need to have someone explain to them, to them, them all that's going on. See you later. See you later. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, I know when we I lived in, in Brazil, Brazil, South America, South America one, of one of the cities that we had a lot of contact, contact with, with because our headquarters, our headquarters were, there were there for the northeast was Fortaleza. Fortaleza. Between Fortaleza, Fortaleza and where we lived, there was another there was city, and Fortaleza, and Fortaleza in the city of, of Hesifi, had become, had become known as, as the place, the place, to, place go to go for European, European men if they wanted, if they wanted very young, young girls, girls and very, and young, very boys. young boys. Now, this was, now, this nearly, was 20 nearly 20 years ago. The reason, the reason they, were they were coming to Brazil, to Brazil and, and there were tourist, tourist sites, sites set up so that, so you, that would go, you would go fly in a fly plane, in a with, plane a with, with a bunch of other people looking for the, looking same, for the perversion, same perversion and it was, and a, it was a big tourist, tourist trade stopping, stopping point and the, and the sole reason for it was the authorities would not arrest. That was a that was a plus in that perversion, perversion of, course. of course. And then also, and then also there, weren't there weren't as many diseases in the young children, in the young children as there, there as there were in were the children, in the children of Thailand. Of Thailand. What, a world what a world we're living in. in. Some, of you, Some of you may remember back during the, during the Super Bowl, Super Bowl when, it when it was in Indianapolis. There were some, there were cases, some cases there, there where, the where the police found, found motorhomes motor being homes parked, being parked all, over the town, all over the town, and it was for, and the, for the sole purpose of underage, of underage girls, and girls and boys, and many of those, and many of those even, even in the U.S., in the US are, slaves are slaves in that, in that they have no way to get out. Way to get out. So, it's so it's a tremendously important, important uh, issue uh, to have light. Have light. Given towards, given towards what's going on and also to do something. Also to do something. Hey, we are hey, we are looking at the last, at the last of our seven, seven laws. laws. Now, these aren't, now, these aren't laws, laws that you're going to look up. Seven, seven laws. laws. Maybe, Maybe it would take you to the website of Keep Believing. Keep believing. It's not like these are laws that are universally known. known. But, it was, one but it was one gentleman who put it together, who put it together and I've modified that list. So if you would go up to that website and read it, you would say, well, it looks familiar. But I've changed it just a little bit to hopefully provide more clarity. More clarity. And let's, go ahead and let's go ahead and just review because, because it is important. It's a good place, a good place to, finish. to finish. It's right before our Easter, our season. Easter season. And all of this, all really, of this does really does prepare us for life in general, life in general not just for the Easter, Easter season. The Easter season. But, the very but the very first one is obvious, obvious we but we need to state it. it. He's God, He's God, God and, we're and we're not. Sometimes, Sometimes we believe, we believe that, that we are in charge of our own destiny. destiny. That, all we, that all we need to do is follow our heart. heart. How many times, How many have, times have you heard that on TV? That on TV? I, just I just want you to follow your own heart. Your own heart. Well, the problem, well, the problem is, is the heart is deceitful, is deceitful and desperately, and desperately wicked, wicked. And who can know it, it Jeremiah tells us. We don't want to follow our heart. It leads us into greater rebellion. It leads us into more sin. So the, very so the very first, first thing, we thing we need to understand is, is our responsibility is to recognize that we are the creation. And that we, and that we have an all-knowing, all-powerful, all look, look at the world we're a part of. We're a part of. <coughs> look, at <the coughs> look at the complexity even in our, even in our own bodies. Own bodies. And, it's and it's obvious that the Creator, that the creator is, is much greater than we are. Greater than we are. He, is he is God and, God and, and we are not. And that's where we start. 
Law number two, Law number two is, God is God doesn't need us, need but, us but we desperately need, desperately need him. him. There is nothing, there is we, nothing can we can do to negotiate with God. With God. God, if, you God, if you'll do this, this, and this, and this for me, this, well, then I'll, I'll give you this. You this. Well, that doesn't, well, that work, doesn't because work because God does God not does need us. Need us. We, have we have no position. position. There's, no There's no inherent goodness in us. In us. There's, no There's no way we can we negotiate with God as, God as an equal because we're as good as, 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 he, is. as he is. Everybody knows, Everybody knows how, how foolish that is. That is. And, there's and there's nothing that we that have that he needs that we can that use as a bargaining chip. So, it starts, so off it starts off in a bad way, way that he is God, we are we not, are God, not. Doesn't God doesn't need us, need us but we but desperately need, need him. him. Number three, what God, what God demands, demands, he supplies. He, supplies. he says, you, says need you need to be born again. Born again. You, need you need to have a new heart. heart. You, need you, need all all you need to have all your sins taken away. away. Well, there's no, well, there's no way, way that we can do that. Can you imagine that if we incurred the debt of the United States, now up in the trillions of dollars. Of dollars. And they said, and now, they said, it's, now your it's your job to find, to find a way to pay off, off that, debt. that debt. We can never, we can touch, never touch an hour's an worth of the interest, of the interest let alone, let alone pay ever the pay on the debt. If we were if told, we were told I, want I want you to go out, out and pay, and your, pay own your own sin debt, sin debt well, there would be well, there absolutely, would be absolutely no, way no way we could do that. We could not, we could not even pay the interest on it. That's what all that that sacrificial system was, system was teaching us. It was a, it was dead, a deadly, bloody, bloody religious, religious system. system. The people, the were, people always were always sacrificing, sacrificing something, something, killing something, killing something. And, the and the end result was to show was us to show there's, there's no way we can we cover our, our own sin. sin. And when Jesus, and when Jesus came, came and told everybody that he was the Lamb of God, of God John, said John said he comes to take away the sins of the world, of the world. then that then shows us that what God demands, he he supplies for God so, for God loved, so the loved the world that he gave, that he gave us his only begotten son. Number four. Number four. What you, what you seek, you find. You find. Now, that's now that's important as a principle, as a principle in many areas, in many areas of, life, of life, but spiritually but speaking, speaking it, is. it is. Many of us, many of us want, to want to be happy. Well, let me tell, well, you, let me tell you, what if you seek, you seek for that, that you, you will not find it. Find it. Many of us want, Many of us to, be want to be rich. If you, if you seek, for, seek wealth, for wealth, there's no guarantee that you'll find that. that. What, we're what we're talking about here is when I seek, seek the, kingdom the kingdom of God, of God. when I seek, when I to, seek know to know better. God better, when it's my, when it's my heart, heart desire to do, to do His will, will. Then, we then we find out that those who seek the kingdom first, first those, who those who are determined to live righteously, then God will add everything else else that is needed into, into that, that formula. So many times, so many times people, people will come in and say, I want a happier marriage. marriage. I, want more I want a more fulfilling job. job. I, want I want this. I want that. And they don't realize, they don't realize that, those that those are the symptoms, symptoms of what's happening, in the, happening in the heart. And that there's, and a, that there's a need to seek to the seek kingdom, the of, kingdom God of God first. first. And then he'll and then begin, he'll to, begin add to add things. these things. So you'll remember, so you'll remember that, that one. Number that five, number five, active faith, active faith releases, releases God's, God's power. God is, God waiting, is waiting for us to believe. To believe. God, is God is waiting for us to trust, us to trust him. him. Perhaps you remember, Perhaps you remember the, story. the story. It's been told, it's been many, told many, many, many ways about a, a, little, girl a little girl who was given, who was given a plastic, plastic nice-looking nice little pearl necklace. necklace. And, it and it was a valuable gift because her because father had given it to her. Given it to her. And, she and she carried it around and treasured it and walked around with it, always very careful. And one day, her father says, says little, girl, uh, little girl, I'd like for you to give me that necklace, me that necklace back. back. And she says, oh, and she no, says, oh daddy, no, daddy, it's my it's most precious possession. I can't give you my necklace. necklace. I, have I have to have, have it. I'm so sorry I've disappointed you. you. Again, and again, again and again, day after day, day, after the, day the same story. story. Finally, the little, the little girl was heartbroken and came and said, Daddy, I don't understand why you want to have my necklace, but you're the most important person in the world to me, so I give to you my 
my necklace. And the father smiled and opened up an expensive looking jewelry box and pulled out a very expensive and real pearl necklace and said, the reason I wanted your imitation was so that I could give you the real thing. This has been my plan all along to give you this very expensive gift that you might know how important and precious you are to me. There are many times when that is what God does to us. He'll bring us into a situation and he'll, he'll simply say, will you trust me with this matter? Will you give to me those broken pieces? Will you give to me what's so important to you? And when we say yes, we find out that there is something much better the Father has in store for us. Active faith releases God's power. Number six, there is no growth without surrender. Remember, surrender is not I quit. Surrender is I give up. I will cooperate. I was telling somebody just the other day that when I was a teenager, I was, well, it's hard for you to imagine this, but when I was a teenager, I was six foot two, 215 pounds. Life is hard. This is what it's done to me. But as a teenager, I was about my height and mostly muscle, you know how you are at that age, and active and in shape. As much as you can be in shape sitting on the bench at every sport you ever played, but nonetheless in shape from all that practice. And I had a cousin who was a little bitty guy. I mean, I saw his picture yesterday. It's the reason it comes to mind. It was there at the Logan Sport Berry Bowl. And he was the state champion in the 105 pound division. So he, wasn't so he wasn't very big. I knew for I knew certain, for certain that, I that I could wrestle him down and put him in place. Him in place. So, one so one day he says, so you think you can take me? And I and proceeded to tell him how much taller I was than he was and how much more I weighed than he weighed. So he said, let's do it right now. So in the middle of my aunt's living room floor, in less than 15 seconds, I was tied into such a knot that he just held me there until I cried. I mean, it hurt so bad. I cried and I said, I give up, I give up, I give up. And he just let me cry like a baby, like a baby until, until he, he, finally he finally let go. I have often, I have often thought, thought of that because there, because have, there been have been times when I, when like Jacob, have wrestled against, have wrestled against God, Almighty, God Almighty and guess what happens? And just in just a moment, moment, the, just a moment the circumstances, circumstances change, change, something happens in your heart and you're on, and you're the, on the ground, ground and, you're and you're begging because there is there no is growth without surrender. Without so, we so we finally say, say Lord, I quit, I quit fighting, fighting against, against you. you. I will cooperate with you. And that leads, and that leads us to our seventh, seventh one. one. It kind of comes full circle, full circle because it tells, because it tells us very clearly that what God that starts, what God starts he, finishes. he finishes. And that is, and a, that great is a great phrase, phrase of encouragement. Of encouragement. In spite of all of our failure, and we could take up the rest of the week listing all of our great failures, we could even cry and talk about the shame that's associated with all these times we have failed, ourselves, our family, each other, our God. But here, but here is the great, is the great word, of word of encouragement. What God, what God starts, starts he, finishes. he finishes. And here's how and here's Paul, how Paul said, it said it in Romans 8.31b. 8, 8, 8, if God is for us, us who can ever be, be against us? us? What, a what a great word of encouragement. Of encouragement. If, he is, if for he is for us, the one who, the gave, one who gave his only his son... son if he, is, if he for us, is for us, then who can then ever, who be, can against ever be against us? And that passage, that passage about talks that, about that, but let's, that, look, at but let's look at these three important, important truths. truths. Three things, three things that we can that we count. Can Number, count. One, Number one, all God's, God's promises, promises will eventually be fulfilled. Be fulfilled. In, fact, in fact, Paul wrote in 2 Timothy, Timothy, if we are if faithless, we are faithless he, remains he remains faithful, faithful for he cannot, for he cannot deny himself. himself 
When God, when God makes, makes a promise, he will keep, he will keep the, promise. the promise. The promise is not based on, on if, you if you live right, live right I, will I will save you. If you, if you work, hard, work hard, I will save, I will save you. you. No, it's, no, it's I, have I have saved you, saved you by, by my mercy, my mercy because, of because of my great love, great love because, of, because the of the grace, the gift freely, the gift freely given. given. When you receive, when you receive Christ, Christ, you are, you born, are again. born again. Now, that, now, that should, should change us, the Bible says. And that's why we work. And that's why we serve. And that's why we continue the struggle against sin. But what, but what a wonderful truth, truth it is to know, is to know that, God that God keeps every promise. Every promise. <laughs> Again, I've Again, shared this, I've with, shared you this before, with you before, but it's such, but it's such a, a, vivid, a vivid picture in my imagination. I'd like for you to just stop, just stop by, by and visit there again. There again. It's, not original, it's not original with me. I was reading a book. A lady was writing about a particular theme, and, and really the only part of the book I remember is this one scene that she tried to, to write up, to draw for us who were reading the book. And indeed, it, and was, indeed powerful. it was powerful. She said, imagine, she said, imagine that, you're that you're standing in heaven, in heaven at the, end, at of the, the end of the age, and there, and there before, before you, you stands thousands, thousands upon thousands, thousands now millions, millions perhaps billions of, people, billions of people who have followed, who have followed Lord the Lord Jesus Christ, who have met, who have met salvation, salvation at the cross. At the cross. And because, and because of sin forgiven, forgiven now, have now have been given eternal, eternal life. life. And, now you, and now, now you have now perhaps billions, perhaps billions of people multiplied, multiplied by all those years and all those experiences. And, and an angel, and an angel stands, stands up and says, and says is, there is there anybody here? Who would, who would ever give testimony against God that he was not, not faithful and true? And she said, and, she said, and the crowd, crowd was quiet. quiet. And all, and all around looked around because, because nobody, 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 could, nobody raise could raise their, their hands. Because, because he, he is faithful, faithful to his word. To his word. He, is he is faithful to his character. To his character. He, is he is faithful to the plan that he has, that pronounced. He has pronounced. God, God is faithful. Is faithful. Every, Every promise, promise he, has he has made, he will, will fulfill. fulfill. That gives, us that gives us great encouragement to know that what God, God starts, starts, He will, he indeed, will finish. indeed finish. The second point, the second is, point this. is this. The Lord, the Lord will complete His work, his work in, us. in us. Many of us have, Many of a, hard us have a hard time memorizing scriptures. scriptures. It's, hard it's hard to just, hard to just sit down. Sit down. I mean, we, I mean, we could do it. We could sit, sit down, down, rather. And we could just and go through it and memorize it line by line. line. I understand, I understand that it's a little bit harder, harder because now because it doesn't seem, seem to be as valuable. Because if you have, because your, if you have your phone, you can have, you can have not only that verse, verse but the entire Bible. In fact, you can go to certain websites like uversion.com and biblegateway.com. And you, and you not only have your Bible, your Bible but you now have maybe a, a 60 or 70 languages or dialects right, right there on your phone. But there are but there certain, are certain verses, verses that we ought to memorize. memorize. And, I and I suggest to you this is one, one that will give you great encouragement. For I, For I am confident of this very thing, very thing that, he that he who began a good work in you will perfect it until the day of Christ Jesus. If he has, if he has started, started a work, a work he, will he will complete the work. The work. When everything, when everything seems, seems to be going seems wrong, to be going wrong when, you when you review your, your life and all you can see are failures, failures and disappointments, and disappointments you need to be encouraged by this verse out of Philippians chapter 1, that God, that God has not finished with you yet. yet. No, matter how no matter how bad it is, no matter how difficult it is, there is a plan, plan that the God of the universe, of the universe has, has with you in mind, because he, because who, he has who has started, started this good work will complete it. What God what God starts, he finishes. Let her see. The third point is this. The entire, the entire work of salvation, of salvation is, guaranteed is guaranteed by God. By God. Now, we like now we like guarantees. 
If you buy something, you, buy something, you, like, you like a guarantee that is going to work the way the salesman, the salesman said. If you have work, if you have work done on a vehicle, you want a guarantee, guarantee that, if that if there's anything wrong, it will be found, found and it'll be fixed at their, their expense and not your expense. expense. I, mean, we love I mean, we love guarantees. guarantees. There is no there better is guarantee than this, than this that, the that the entire work of salvation is guaranteed, is guaranteed by God, by God because, it because it is His work. It's a familiar, it's a familiar passage. passage. Let's look at it. I'm going to ask, ask that you circle. Circle five, circle five words. words. And we'll stop, and we'll at, each stop at each one. And we know, and we know Romans 8, 28, and we know, and we know that God causes all things to work together for good to those who love God, to those who, to those who are, are called, called according to His purpose. purpose. For those, for those whom he foreknew, would you circle that word? For those whom he foreknew, he also predestined, please circle that word, to become, to become conformed to the image of his son, of his son so, that he, so that he would be the firstborn among many brethren. Among many brethren. And, these and these whom he predestined, he also he called, also called would you circle that word, and these, and these whom he whom called, he also he also justified, if you'll circle, if you'll circle that, word, that please. word, please. And these, and these whom, he whom he justified, he also, he also glorified. glorified. Those, are Those are great words. words. Let me just share, Let with, just you share with you something that I, that I read this week. This week. Those five, Those five words make up the golden, golden chain, chain of your salvation. Of your salvation. It, is it is a golden chain of five links. Of five links. And, then goes down, and then he goes down and he says, and he here's says, what we know is true. 100 percent. 100 percent. God does not lose anybody in this process. In this process. Those, he Those he foreknew, and I don't expect me to explain all of this. All of this. This, is this is a great mystery, mystery that no theologian, that no theologian has ever been able to put together, put together in an easy to understand, easy to understand format. format. But we do know but this. We do know it's this. 100% it's 100 percent to 100 percent to 100 percent to 100 percent to 100 percent. 100 percent of those he foreknew, he also also predestined. A hundred percent of those he predestined, he also called. A hundred percent of those he called, he also justified. A hundred percent of those he justified, he also glorified. This is part of this scholarly, legal thinking that Paul does. This, now this, now this, now this, and now this. Can't you see the the conclusion. obvious conclusion. God is, God is faithful. faithful. The, entire the entire work of salvation, of salvation is guaranteed by God. By God. What a wonderful what a truth, truth it is. Because I don't, because know, about I don't know about you. But I can imagine, I can imagine it's probably true, true with almost, with almost all, of all of us. If it was, if it my, was job my job to keep my own, own salvation, salvation, I have been I rebellious have been enough, enough, sinful enough, sinful enough to have lost to have it lost I don't know how many times. I have a wedding ring, of course. Many of you also wear a wedding ring. I have lost, I, have lost, I don't know many how many wedding rings. rings. This is the this longest, is the I've, longest ever I've, I've ever kept a ring. ring. The, very the very first wedding ring I lost, and if you have a metal detector, you might want to go out into the hay field that Dick Need owns, because I stuck it in my back pocket when I was helping him bale straw, and I don't know where it went. I must have pulled a rag or a pocket or a glove out, so it's out there somewhere, and I'm not even, sure, I'm not that even really sure, sure that it's really metal, good so metal, sure so I'm not sure if it'll show up on your on your, on your, metal, on your metal detector, but it was the cheap ring, cheap ring that, Beth that Beth and I started out with. I have had, I'm guessing, I'm maybe, guessing maybe 10 of them, 10 over, of them the over the years, because I, I keep losing them. them. Even now, even now if, you noticed, if you noticed a few weeks ago, weeks ago I was not wearing my wedding ring. It was not because we had had a fight. It was because I had lost it again. And I said to Beth, I said, I don't know where my wedding ring is. Somewhere. It's somewhere. Now, it's not a big, now, deal. Not a big I deal. I remember I bought this one at Walmart, Walmart for about $40. So, you know, it's not like I lost a lot. It's just the idea. And she said, and she 
she said, worry, don't I'm worry, sure I'm sure I'll find it. And because my, and because wife, my is wife is such a thorough, a thorough uh, housekeeper, uh, housekeeper and, uh, and uh, she's, she's been through been this through before, this before. She, knew she knew where to start going. going. She started looking in all these places and it wasn't long until she said, I found your wedding ring. It was under the bed. How did it get How did it there? Get and, there? I said, and I said, sure. I'm not I sure. I must have just taken it off at night because it was, you know, uncomfortable and put it on the bed, got, got up the next kicked day and kicked it. But every, but every, thus far, thus far now, for, now for at least 20, at least 20 years, years, she has found, she has this, found ring this ring after it's been, after lost, it's been lost time and time again. And time again. There, are there are times, times when it will when seem like, like we have lost our salvation, our salvation. but my, but my searching, searching is not the key. Not the key. It's, the fact, it's the fact that God says, no, what I've, no, what given, I've given to you is yours forever, and I'll give it back. You'll find it again. The joy of your salvation. The relationship, the relationship will always be, will always the, be same. the same. I am, I the, am father, the father and you are the child. The child. But, the joy, but the joy of your salvation, of your salvation will, be will be found again. When Beth, when Beth said, hey, I said, found, hey, I found ring, your there ring, there was a part of me. Because I love being, being married. But there was a part, there was of, me a part of me that went, yeah. good. I'll feel better, I'll feel with, better it with it on my finger. Listen, Listen, what God, God starts, starts he, finishes. he finishes. He guarantees, he guarantees our, salvation. our salvation. The scriptural, the scriptural application, application of the seventh, of the seventh law. law. Great, Great words, words again. again. I encourage, I encourage you. you. I always, I always try, try to make sure the verses are printed, are printed either, either with italics or, different, or font, different font so that you can, so that you can just use these, use notes, these and notes and review these, these verses say, Lord, and say, Lord, Fill me with, fill this, me with truth. this truth. Fill me with, fill this, me truth. with this truth. Here are the great, are the great words, words found in 1 Thessalonians, Thessalonians 5, 23 through 24. Now may the, now God, may the God of peace himself, himself sanctify you entirely. And may your soul, spirit, and soul and body be preserved complete without blame at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Faithful is he who calls you, and he also will will bring it to pass. It to pass. What, God what God starts, starts he, he finishes. finishes. For, or 2 Timothy 1.12 for, for I know whom I, know I, have, whom I have believed and am, and am persuaded, persuaded that he is able, that able to keep that, that which I have committed, committed unto him against that day. How many recognize, How many recognize those, words? those words? How many have sung, How many have those, sung words? those words? Good. Good. Because I, I have a project for you. For you. We're going to invite We're some of you up here to be a choir. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Now, you've already, now, raised, you've already your raised your hand. If you don't come, you don't up, come it's up, it's pretty close to lying in church. In church. All, right. All right? But I think, but you'll, I think enjoy you'll enjoy singing the song, the song because, because we, might we might let you do it from your seat. All right? Because this is the story behind it. I sang, I sang the song to Daniel. To Daniel. <laughs> Jesus. Jesus. No, I don't, no, I don't recognize that. that. Beth came in, Beth a, came in a little bit later and she sang it. He says, oh yeah, now I recognize, now I recognize it. it. That was, that, that, was bad. that was bad. All right. All right. But here's the but song. Here's the song. This, beloved this beloved hymn, hymn written, written by Major Daniel Whittle, Whittle was, originally was originally published in 1883. In 1883. It's, one it's one of about 200 hymns, hymns composed, composed by Major Whittle, Whittle as, he as he was known. It is one it of his, one one of his uh, uh, best known, known hymns. hymns. One other popular, one other popular hymn, hymn that he wrote is There Shall, will, Shall Be Showers of Blessing. Of blessing. Daniel, Webster Daniel Webster Whittle was born in Massachusetts on November the 22nd, 1840. Get that right, I'm sorry, 1840. His mother, his mother is said to have been a godly woman who instilled in him his and his three brothers strong, strong Christian principles. Daniel Whittle worked as a cashier for Wells Fargo, Wells Fargo Bank, as, Bank a as a teenager and into his, and early, into his 20s. early 20s. He was not a, was wicked, not a man wicked man at first. On the contrary, he was quite religious. He surrendered, he surrendered his, his life to the Lord one night, Lord one night, night while acting, as, acting a night as a night watchman at Wells Fargo, at Wells Fargo Bank. Bank. He went into he the went vault, into the got, vault down got down on his, on his knees, knees and gave his 
sur and gave his surrendered life to the Heavenly Father and to use as he would. He even became a Sunday school superintendent at the Great Tabernacle in Chicago, where he would meet his wife, Miss Abby Hansen. He would join the Army in 1861 and be commissioned as a second lieutenant. In the summer of 1862, August, August, as the Civil War, the Civil began, War began to intensify, his unit, his unit was called to go south. On August, On August 22nd, 1862, the night before his departure, his departure he and Abby, he and Abby were married. It would be a year, would be a before, year they before they, be they would be reunited. In his own words, in his own words he tells of his departure. departure. My, dear My dear mother was a devout Christian and parted, and parted from, from me with many tears, with many tears and followed me with many a prayer. Many a prayer. She, had she had placed a New Testament, Testament in the pocket of the haversack that she had arranged, that she had arranged for me. This little New New Testament would, pay a, would pay, a play, play a vital play a vital part in his rededication. In his rededication. Widow rose, rose to the rank, to the rank of, major, of major, and while leading a charge, charge he was wounded in his sword, in his sword arm, arm, which led to the amputation of his arm, of his arm and a stay, and a stay as, a as a prisoner in a war camp. camp. It was while it was he was in, in this POW camp, POW camp that out of that boredom, boredom he began to search for something to read. He found in his personal effects the little New Testament that his mother had there. placed there. He read through the, read New, through the New Testament in a matter of days and started through it again. Through it again. One, night, one, one night the nurse woke, woke him up and told him, him that one of his men was dying and had been begging, had been begging for someone to pray for, to pray for him. The nurse told, the nurse Major, told Major Whittle, Whittle that, this that this young man had said that he was a wicked man and could not pray. Major Whittle confessed that he too was a wicked man with many sins in his own life and could not pray either. The nurse, the nurse said, said that he thought Major Whittle, Whittle was a Christian because, because he had, a, she, had a, she had observed him uh, constantly, constantly reading, reading the scripture. The scripture. And, Major and Major Whittle did not cuss as the, as the other men. The nurse begged, the nurse begged Major, Whittle Major Whittle to at least accompany him, him to see the boy as he did not, as he did not want to return alone. To return alone. Moved, with compassion, Moved with compassion, Major Whittle, Major Whittle reluctantly, agreed. reluctantly agreed. Here in Major Whittle's own words is what took place that night. I dropped, I dropped on my knees, on my knees and beheld the boy's hand in mine. In, mine. in, a, few in a few broken, broken words, I confess my sins and ask Christ, Christ to forgive me. I believe, I believe right, right there, there he did forgive me. me. I, then I then prayed earnestly for the boy. For the boy. He, became he became quiet and pressed, and pressed his hand into mine, into mine as, as I prayed and pleaded God's promises. God's promises. When, I when I arose from my knees, he was dead. A look of peace had come over his troubled face, face. And, I and I cannot but believe the God who used him to bring me to the Savior used me, used me, to, used me to lead to him to trust Christ's, Christ's precious blood and find pardon. pardon. I, hope I hope to meet him in heaven. And that's the story. That's the story. Some 20, Some 20 years later, he wrote these, these words. I know not, I know what, not God's what God's wondrous grace to me he hath made. Let me, start that, let me start that again. I know not, I know why, not God's why God's wondrous grace to me he hath made known, made known nor, why nor why unworthy Christ in love redeemed me for his own. For his own. But, I know but I know whom I believe, have believed, have believed and, I am, and I am persuaded that he is able to keep me, to keep, me, to keep I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Um, Try that again. Try that again. But I know whom, but I, know I, whom I have believed and, and am persuaded that he is able to keep that which I have committed unto him against that day. I know not, I know why, not why, how the saving, saving faith to me he did impart, nor how, nor how in believing in his word wrought peace within my heart. I know not, I know how, not how the Spirit moves, moves convincing, convincing us of sin, us of sin revealing, revealing Jesus, Jesus through the word, word creating faith in him. In him. I know not what of good or ill he may, he may, may, be, reserved may be reserved for me of weary of ways or golden or days before, I, before, I, his, before his face I see. I know not, I know when, not when my Lord, my may, Lord may come at night or noonday fair, 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 nor if I walk, nor if I walk the veil with, with him or meet him, or in, meet the him in the air. Well, those are great, well, those are great words. Sorry, I kind of stumbled those a little bit. 
But how many know, but how many know the chorus? No, 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 you got uh, to sing, sing it with me. We're going to sing the chorus twice, twice, all right? If you don't, if you don't sing right away, sing right that means you have, to, means listen you have to, to listen to me twice. To me twice. Are, you really ready Are you really ready for that? that? Let's sing the first Let's verse and then the chorus. All right, we'll do that instead. I know not why God's wondrous grace to me he hath made known, nor why unworthy Christ in love redeemed me for his own. Here we go. For what I know whom I have believed and am persuaded that he is able to keep that which I've committed unto him against that day. How many recognize that after that? What a great song, what a great song because, because it comes from, from a great, great verse. verse. That God, that God has said, has said what, I start, what I start, I will finish. finish. Though, the though the powers of darkness come against it, come against it though, the world though the world seeks to interfere with it, with it though we resist the work that he does in our own hearts, still, still God says, I will finish what I have started. And it, all and it all started there at the foot, at the of, foot Calvary. of Calvary. Would you close your, eyes, you close and your, your eyes and bow your heads, Father, please? We Father, we know that these are that precious, precious truths. When we consider, when we consider what, we what we bring to you, which is, which is absolutely nothing, at best, defiled acts of righteousness done for the wrong reason, done, done in the wrong way. way. We bring nothing but those filthy but rags. Those filthy rags. And, Father, you and Father, you have been pleased to forgive, to forgive us, not, not because of that pitiful offering, but because, but because we have surrendered, have surrendered at the cross. At the cross. We, have we have recognized that Christ, that Christ is our, our Redeemer. Redeemer. He is, he is the, only the only one who can pay, who can pay our, our debt. debt. Father, we are Father, so thankful, are so to, thankful know to know that there is a day coming when all of us will be in that large crowd, crowd and, and we too will give testimony to your faithfulness. To your faithfulness. Father, I'm Father, I'm asking for that, that encouraging word to stick with us. Stick with us. Lord, as we Lord, hum, as we hum not only the words, but, but, this, but this really deep and profound, deep and profound message, message that I know, whom, that I know I whom I have believed. Father, these, Father, I, these I ask these for, these things I ask for, praying in Jesus' name. name. Amen. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.